So our second race here from Fakenham is the Moors Million. Stairs leg eight over three miles, two furlongs, and 0 to 130 heavy gap. Special cargo for David Robertson, Soha Floozy for James Shea, Griffin Guest for Darren Thompson, Large Moon for Jim Murray, Barrelow Viking for Martin Lidham, Lily Branches for David Hooley, Gallagher Orange for Martin Lidham, Georgia O'Keefe for Paul Rhodes, and Press Cantha for Pontypool Racing. Flags dropped and they're away. Also looking to qualify now for the Moors Millions. Leg number eight. Week 13. We'll be led here by Barrelo Piggy. Continue to second silks. We're taking a keen hold. It's the first of the 13 fits that they have to take. Plain one. We'll skip over it. We'll buy Pyro Rank. Pyro Cantha. Pyro Rank Cantha. Pyro Rank Cantha. It's an awful name. Awful name. Anyway, it's Barrelo Viking that leads us. He's got a length and a half bunch of the rest of the pack, but pretty much all together. And Pyrocantha. Graham Clutterbuck. Just the last horse. Finest of all his special cargo for David Robinson. He needs a length or so as he swings left handed here. But it's Barrow. Barrow. Oh, pff. We wonder why I don't do the cons. Oh, and the leader went straight through the top of that. Barrow. Barolo Viking. Barolo. There we go. Went through the top of that, but still leads from Griffin Guest that moved into second. And the green silks of Georgia, Georgia O'Keefe. 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 But it's Barolo. Barolo. Barolo Viking and Lady Moon into the third and all over there. It's Barolo Viking from Georgia O'Keefe. Griffin Guest, Large Moon. Then we've got Soha Floozy there and Green Silks Red Cap. Whose offence is Gallagher Orange in. Widest of all, it's still his special cargo as they get to the fourth. Over that as well, and to the rear of Pyracantha and the Lily Branches. Downhill now. So, Rumbo Viking still leads us about three to Georgia O'Keefe, to second. And so half floozy, large moon to Jim Murray on the outside. And the fence is Griffin Guest. Thompson Silks. And still still a special cargo, losing lengths as they go around this course here. Rear is Lily Branches. We'll approach the fifth of ditch. We'll jump again by the lead up. We've got plenty of air steadied, but still got a couple of length advantage from Georgia O'Keefe. So half moves in third. Six. All over that. This time it's Georgia O'Keefe that went over it slowly. Special cargo. Great. We're in the race. And still well over a mile and a half to travel. It's Barrow Low Viking. Still leading us. About four from the D branches. Gallagher Orange. Wide is Pyracantha. So far, Flint is up against the fence now. Inside of his, him is George O'Keefe from Griffin Guest. Looking for better position. Oh, and the leader went straight through the top of that. I'm surprised he's still on his feet. This Barrow Low Viking. Martin will tell us what Barolo means tomorrow. There is such a meaning of it. But it's Barolo Viking that's going to lead past the winning post for the second time. One more circuit to go. Just under a mile and a half to travel. So it's Barolo Viking from Lily Branches moved into second now. Can I go orange? So that is Griffin Guest. He drew Keith up against the fence. Barra Cancer on the outside. Large balloons and half loose in special cargo. All men on their feet here. They go to plane on the 8th. Five from home. It's the Rolo Viking. Which is the same. Makes this beginning by about four. To Lily Branches, Gallagher, Orange, Griffin, Guest, and Georgia and Keith. Together. And then the Knights. And just followed through by Pyrocantha. So half flimsy against the fence between those is large moon. Special cargo the top won't drop back a little bit now. Why for the first couple of circuits? Hasn't done him any favours. He's still being led by the Rolo Viking. So the final mile by the final to Griffin Guest and he branches on his outside to enjoy keep on the inside. Followed through by Gallagher Orange and Pyrocantha. But so half flimsy. 
Z inside large balloon, special cargo making an appearance in the screen, just towards the rear there, and pushed along. If we come down here and swing left handed, it's a bow roll low and it still leads us, jockeys off the bridle now, being pushed along, whips out, there's still six furnace to go, but Roland's that did really well, he's taken a five length advantage, we'll give you a guess, George or Keith, we've got to a little bit of toe here by this leader, but Barolo Viking, they're going to start making up the distance now as they go over the 12th, everyone's over and it's Barolo Viking still leads, but it's down to three lengths now, and being shortened all the time by Georgia O'Keefe, Griffin Guest, Gallagher Orange and out wide, trying to run on his large moon, but it's still Barolo Viking holding off all challenges by a length and a half, inside the final half mile from Georgia O'Keefe, that's going to draw alongside now, Griffin Guest, Gallagher Orange and large moon, all trying to make up the ground, but it's Barolo Viking, starts to give way now, now to Georgia O'Keefe and it's Georgia O'Keefe that noses in front from Barolo Viking still in second running on Gallagher Origin Griffin Guess and Large Moon it's going to be between these th five and it's Georgia O'Keefe that leads by a length and a half now as Barolo Viking starts to give way from second to third as Gallagher Origin takes over Griffin Guess is still running on but Georgia O'Keefe still got a length and a half of lunch as it goes come, approaches the last of the third and a half to go oh I went through the top of it lost all his momentum here comes Gallagher Origin on his outside but it's Georgia O'Keefe that jumps he gets his whip out again inside the final furlong. There's Georgia O'Keefe hanging on to the lead here, but here comes Gallagher Orange. Georgia O'Keefe, Gallagher Orange, and Georgia O'Keefe needs the line. Georgia O'Keefe, Georgia O'Keefe's going to hold him off. And it's Georgia O'Keefe for Paul Rhodes that takes it from Gallagher Orange in second. I think Griffin Guess just hung on for third there from Sofa Fruzzi. I'll wait for the replay. Poor old Barolo Viking. I think this is the beginning. It's a good win for Georgia O'Keefe and Evans' favourite. For Paul Rhodes, well done. Gallagher Orange got up for second, which was Martin Leedham's horse. Well done. Griffin Guest for Darren Thompson was third. So hard, Floozy for James Shea was fourth. And the Barolo Viking also for Martin Leedham hung on for fifth.